If you've never made bread before, this is the recipe for you. Hi, I'm Kelsey Small, and today I'm at the Uni Test Kitchen making an easy, simple bread recipe. This recipe is based on Jim Leahy's classic no knead technique, easiest bread recipe you could possibly make, perfect for beginners. This recipe is very simple. It has four ingredients. We have bread flour, we have salt, we have active dry yeast, and we have water. To make this bread, we'll be using a Dutch oven and we'll be baking it in the Carter 16. First, we have a large mixing bowl. We're gonna add our water and our yeast. And then we'll take our salt and flour, mix that together, and we're gonna just dump it all in. Take the back of a spoon, you can use chopsticks, you can use your fingers. But we're just gonna mix this until it's fully hydrated and we're not gonna work it, we're not gonna knead it. This is about as easy as it gets. It should all come together pretty well. All right, looks like it's almost there, so I'm just gonna do this with my hands a little bit. I'm not really working the dough, I'm just trying to hydrate all the last bits of flour. Boom, done, easy. We're gonna take a towel, we're gonna cover it up. You can use plastic wrap if you want, and we're gonna let this sit for 18 hours at room temperature on our counter. So I made a batch of dough yesterday, and it has been proofing out on the counter for about 18 hours, and we're just gonna form it right now. It's about doubled in size, it feels soft, it looks nice and airy, and we're gonna take it out of the bowl and form it into two 350 gram dough balls. When you're doing this recipe, if you have a larger Dutch oven, if you're doing it in your home oven, you can bake it as one ball. In the Caro 16, I have a smaller Dutch oven that fits a smaller loaf. They two make two very cute ones, so that's what we're gonna do. All right, so I'm gonna sprinkle some flour on my table right here, make it a little easier to work with, and I'm gonna just scoop my dough out. Feels great, get all the bit I can. We're just gonna split this dough into two balls real quick. Form these dough balls, we're just gonna kinda turn them into little bowls real quick or a round loaf. And to form them, I'm just kinda folding the sides in on itself and then I'm not doing it too tight. I want it to proof in two hours until they've about doubled in size. Okay, so our dough has been proofing for about an hour and 45 minutes and our Carter 16 is preheated to about 550, 600 degrees. So we're gonna take our Dutch oven and we're gonna put it in the oven for about 15 to 20 minutes to preheat it. What that's gonna do is create a really steamy environment for the dough to get some maximum rise when it goes in there and goes into the oven. When you touch your dough and you're, what you're looking for is a light pillowy feel, that's gonna give you a nice relaxed crust, really soft, creamy bread. So, to bake the bread, I have a little piece of parchment that's cut out to fit the bottom of the Dutch oven. And I'm gonna take a little semolina. You can use cornmeal, you can use flour. That's just to make it not stick to the bottom. So, I have my bench knife. I'm gonna use a little bit of flour here. I'm just gonna kinda scrape it out. And we're just gonna place it like so. I like to score all like my loaves of bread because it, adds a little extra rise to it, and it also makes it look kind of cute. So we're just gonna score it very gently with a bread knife, and we're going to go right into the Dutch oven. We're going to quickly top this and go straight into our oven. It's been about 10 minutes. We're gonna check on our bread and see where it's at. It looks great, nice rise. It's getting starting to get some color. So what we're gonna do is take it out we're gonna put it back in the oven without the Dutch oven. So our dough is looking really good. It's got a nice color. We're gonna temp it. Perfect. Okay, we have a nice, beautiful loaf of bread. It's golden brown. It's got a great rise. The bottom is fully cooked. It's time to slice this bad boy and try it out. Look at that, nice tender crumb, great rise. It smells incredible. There's nothing more satisfying than a fresh baked loaf of bread. Now let's try it out. Yeah, some beautiful bread, incredible. Obviously when you're eating bread, you need some butter. You have some nice whipped butter with some mold and salt. Amazing. 
a really nice nutty flavor from the bread flour we used. It's amazing how easy this recipe is to make. For recipes like this and more, head over to uni.com.